Hey guys, so today we are going to be discussing about the topic acceleration. So what is acceleration? Well, acceleration is a vector quantity that is defined as the rate at which velocity changes with time in terms of both speed and direction. In other words, and any object that accelerates is changing its velocity. A point or an object moving in a straight line is accelerated if it speeds up or slows down. There are three ways an object can accelerate. First is a change in velocity. Second is a change in direction. And third, change in both velocity and direction. Suppose a car is moving at a constant speed at 80 km per hour. Will there be acceleration? The answer is no, because in this case, the velocity is not changing at all. What about an object moving from 0 km per hour to 20 km per hour in 5 seconds? Does that mean the object is accelerating? The answer is yes because the velocity is changing. It was initially zero, but it got to 20 kilometers in five seconds. Let's see another example, where an object is moving at 30 kilometers, then it moves right at 30 kilometers and continues forward at 30 kilometers. Is there acceleration? Yes, there is, because there is a change in direction. Change in direction means there is a change in velocity as well. Even though the speed, which is 30 km per hour, is constant, but the velocity and direction changes. Additionally, an object moving in a circular path is constantly accelerating because its velocity is constantly changing direction. This acceleration is what we refer to as a centripetal acceleration because it points towards the center of the circle. In uniform circular motion, the direction of the velocity changes constantly, so there is always an associated acceleration, even though the speed might be constant. You experience this acceleration yourself when you turn a corner in your car. If you hold the wheel steady during a turn and move at constant speed, you are in uniform circular motion. What you notice is a sideways acceleration because you and the car are changing direction. The sharper the curve and the greater your speed, the more noticeable this acceleration will become. Now let's see how acceleration can be calculated. The formula of acceleration can be written as change in velocity over the time taken. The acceleration can be written as a equals v minus u over t as the velocity of an object changes from the initial value of u to the final value of v in time t. Suppose an object is initially at rest at point A, then it moves to point B with a velocity of 10 meters per second at 5 seconds. Now we have to find the acceleration of point B. To do so, we should list down the time taken which is t equals to 5 seconds. Then we should list down the initial velocity which is u equals to 0 meters per second. Lastly, the final velocity, which is v equals to 10 meters per second. Now we will plug these numbers into the formula a equals v minus u over t. We will get 10 meters per second minus 0 meters per second over 5 seconds. This will equal 10 meters per second divided by 5 seconds. So our final answer will be 2 meters per second squared.